Hello and thank you for coming back to the second part of the Home Automation Project. Here's what we're going to do today. We're going to control an LED. This could be a light, your motor, whatever you want it to be. And we're going to use the Asterix PBX to control it. Um, you can see the uh, Raspberry Pi on the right hand side con with the Asterix console ready. And you can see also over here the setup. Now the setup is slightly different. What we're going to try to emulate today is we're going to try to em emulate the house. Uh, and in a house we have a switch at the top of the stairs and a switch at the bottom of the stairs. Now, when we're trying to home automate, we're going to actually use this setup for every single light switch. But in this scenario, imagine you are at the top of the stairs and you flick the light switch. You turn the lights on. You can go down to the bottom of the stairs and flick the light switch again and turn the light off. And to emulate this, um, I don't actually have a switch at uh, this moment in time. So what, we, what I've done is um, just put the emulation with the three poles here and basically being able to manually switch from one to the other. Now if I was to switch from here, so at the moment the LED is off, I then sw switch it over to the second part and that should actually turn the LED on. Um, if I can get that in there, there you go. So the LED is now on. Um, I can then turn off the LED using Asterix and we're going to do that in the second part of the video. Okay, so before we start turning that LED off, let's just go through a rundown of what we've got here. We've got the Raspberry Pi connected to a breadboard. The Raspberry Pi itself has got a wireless um, dongle on there, which is an Edimax dongle. Very simple to use, very simple to set up. There's some instructions are on the website. I'll put that up on the blog somewhere. Then we've got the cable that's connected to a GPIO pins here. That is then coming back in, and it's actually hiding underneath the Pi there is coming back into that connector there. We've got a 5 volt, which is a yellow cable there, running onto the breadboard. We've got two GPIO pins connected. You can just about see them underneath there. And you've got the white cable there, which is the ground. Um, on the breadboard itself, you've got an octocoupler, which is connected in series to the relay which is then connected in series to the LED here. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that LED on and off using So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to turn on the LED here, which could be a light, a motor, anything you want, using the Asterix PBX. So how we're going to do this, first of all, we've just gone through a rundown of the Pi and how it's connected back down to the LED. Now we're going to connect to the asterisk using a VoIP client. So here we're going to use Zoiper and there you go, as soon as it connects it's connected to the home network. I'm going to hit 1 and dial the number. See the LED there? There we go. I'm now going to dial 2 hit enter Okay, so finally let's have a look at the Asterix console. You'll see the uh, call come in. I'm going to use a soft phone to do this. And there it goes. And again dialing 2. You'll see the call come in. And then hung up. Okay, so looking a little more closely, you'll see that the call was answered by Asterix. An AGI script was run using the AGI application. And then it waited for a second and hung up. Again, did the same thing for pressing 2. Now the reason we're doing this is, is because this is a test setup, however what we're looking to do further is to create an IVR and use it to press 1 for turning lights on, press 2 for turning lights off etc. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you want more information have a look at the blog at moishtech.blogspot.com.